Uh, being that we're speaking about Capitol Hill and, and people being terrorists, domestic terrorists and all this stuff, committing treason and all that, mm -hmm. um, the NRA recently relocated its headquarters, I believe it was in New York, to Texas. In addition to that, they're filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Now, I'm going to read a little, just a little definition. Of that seems on brand. Moving the headquarters to Texas. That all seems very around, what, the week before all this transpired? A week before the inauguration of the new president? <laughs> well, not even a full week, a couple days before. Um, so, there's two types of bankruptcies. Well, I, I think there's multiple, but the two major types are Chapter 7 and Chapter 11 in terms of, like, businesses. So, a Chapter 7 bankruptcy is when a firm or a company is past the stage of reorgan reorganization and it must sell off all, and it must sell off any non-exempt assets in order to pay its debt to creditors right mm -hmm. a chapter 11 is basically allowing the firm or the company to the opportunity to reorganize its debt and try to reemerge as a healthy organization. So one is pretty much, you know, it's too far. Like you niggas is too much in debt. You have to close out and create a new entity. Next one is we're gonna give you a chance, pay off. Now I find it funny because um I also looked up why certain firms or companies would file for a chapter eleven. And it's not only in terms of debt. It can be To re-identify ourselves. It was ten it was ten points that the article made as to why a company or firm might file chapter eleven, right? Mm -hmm. But the point I'm making, the reason I brought this up is to have people just pay attention to everything that's going on. Everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. Including this shit right here, especially when the NRA is is basically the main entity behind every gun on the streets of America, well, <laughs> right. firearm, and the Democrats who are now <laughs> in the White House are trying to usurp the the Second Amendment. So all this stuff, like all this stuff, right. is popping is up it, in my head. Is it? I pose a question. Are I, I'm not into politics. Um, are they Me trying neither, to just, like? What's what you use? Usurp. Usurp. It's like take away. Is it? Are they trying to usurp the Second Amendment completely, or is it like large assault well, rifles? Well, no. It's it's just I don't know. Silencers, certain assault rifles, well, like to that. To be honest, because I've heard that argument. Like we like. We don't want these guns on the streets. Technically, according to the Constitution, it's rifles. Yeah. Thus, NRA, National Rifle Association. So, oh, rifles okay. should be kept in the house. And technically, if you're found with a with a rifle or whatever, it's not... Like, the punishment is not necessarily the same as um, a handheld because that is concealable. And right. no, there was no telling the intent. Like you can't. Unless you were in the North Face, you could. <laughs> you can't conceal a, a fucking AR-15. Unless you, unless you wearing a big ass goose down. Yeah, exactly. And the 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 it's rifles a, they talking about is not AR-15. That's a assault rifle. Scar they talking H. about like the one shot, like the the fucking oh uh, the FN the FN forty one and the shit. Foul. The foul. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that, that type of rifle. Are, See, World War One rifle. Yeah, I don't really want to get into this because I don't know too much about it, but it is definitely a slippery slope when it comes to guns. Like, I understand people wanting to have guns just in case shit pop off from their family and and in protection from like you know the government if some shit was to you know get very tyrannical. And that's why the founding fathers they set that up too because they saw what was happening in Europe. They was like, yo. Well, the way they wrote it is um, white 
males who own land. Those were considered free men back then. Y'all free niggas, y'all need to get guns. We're writing this for y'all because in case England or Europe or the globalists or the, you know, these um, Mm -hmm. international bankers come over here with this bullshit, you rise up and fight for the land and this union. That's why they made it. Right. So... Which uh, everybody, as far as I see, is committing treason in in Congress right now, and the and the fucking Supreme Court because all of them are standing by, being complicit right. to everything which, going on. Which, like, like I said, it's slippery slope. I understand that, but then I also understand like I I don't want it nah, so it. easily accessible, where <clears throat> like any motherfucker could just go get a AR fifteen or a file without the proper like. I feel like you gotta you gotta training. pass some type of mental training. Men, well, not mental training, but like a psychology <laughs> test or like some. It can't just be as easy as I'm going inside of a Walmart on Wednesday. I'm gonna go pick up a little, a little, a little piece. Then you should. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's slippery slope. You should you know choose another state to move to then, because Georgia. Is I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, standing. Now nah, I know. I know. I, I'm definitely gonna be a legal <laughs> firearm owner. As soon as I touch down, I'm looking at how to get my shit. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna get a fucking a bunch of ARs, but get I'm the, definitely get the FAMAS with rapid fire <laughs> <laughs> and slide of hand pro. <laughs> it's slippery slope. Because really then you got one. niggas as you know. What if what if every state was open carry? Then these white niggas would not act up. That's why I want it. These white people would not act up as much as they but then are. What about Point the blank states period. that are open carry? Are black people because man. Are they gearing up and are they, you know what I'm saying? Because black people, all right, I ain't going to say that. I'm trying to. But I don't want to spend too much time on this topic, though. Yeah. Um. You want me to get into something? Or? <clears throat> if there was Abdallah in every black family <laughs> and every state was open carry and stand your ground, white people would not be as ang- as antsy as they are. I'll tell you that. I believe Especially you. if there's a black, I, especially I if you. there's Abdallah. <laughs> In a masculine and feminine version, because you know these these Karens and shit are around. So we gonna need a fe- a female to to be their equalizer. Right. You don't want to be a male doing that. No, oh, look at black men attacking white women. Nah, nah, you got black women for that. Right. Right. 